Okay, hello, I'm uh, Pat Brown. I'm uh, here to give you a recap of our uh, Ibex booth here at the show. Uh, basically, some of the different things we're showing here on this wall is a variety of different access doors we have. And then what we have here is a new um, acrylic overlay system that we do for different uh, glass bridge panels. So once the electronic units are mounted in the panel, the acrylic overlay goes onto the uh, dash and makes a really nice uh, uh, type of a, a command center. Then what we have here, here again is our uh, side console entry doors. Uh, we do all of our own frames, bend all of those frames, powder coat them to the particular color and size that you may need. Also new this year is um, alum or uh, excuse me, stainless uh, front access doors. Gives you a nice stainless look that coordinates well with uh, refrigerator fronts and that type thing. Here we have a uh, freestanding um, uh, pontoon boat entertainment center complete with uh, the uh, cooler storage for your uh, paper towel rack and wine storage. Another thing we're introducing this year is uh, cutting CUSA board. Uh, we cut a wide variety of CUSA board into different transoms uh, as well as floor inserts so we can do that uh, uh, and save the uh, boat manufacturer from having to cut his own material and have that scrap to deal with. Next here we have different uh, upholstery substrates that we do for the boat builders. In some cases we supply these substrates to other companies that do um, uh, vinyl wrapping or in some cases the boat builder actually wraps those parts themselves with their uh, upholstery vinyl. From here, now this is our, uh, our cooler slide for mounting underneath of um, uh, your leaning post. Slides a little hard on the carpet here, but it works really well on the, uh, uh, pulse, or on the gel coated surfaces. And then on top of the cooler here, we have an optional uh, cutting board unit. So this uh, just snaps onto the top of the cooler here on the same snaps that the um, uh, upholstery fits into and works very well for uh, cleaning and stuff like that. Also new this year is a new gaff holder system. Now this gaff holder holds your uh, gaff safely and out of the way instead of just sticking it into a rod holder. From here we go to a new unit now with all of the um, uh, new electronics, there's always a need for a way to uh, store the different C-Zone panels. This is actually a push-in C-Zone storage panel unit that uh, locks out and then is pushed in and locks in to keep your electronics all nice and um, organized. From here we have taking the uh, stainless steel front idea into the drawers. This is just a nice simple drawer great seal and uh, a good snap fit. Now here's a little something different. It's actually a adjustable dimmable window panel. So you can actually turn the electrical um, switch and it dims the window. Of course we do a wide variety of um, different shower um, entry door uh, acrylic panels and different systems to um, address your needs in the heads. From there we do, uh, of course, we do the custom cabinetry. These are laminate cabinets um, and that's all specific to the particular boat need and the design of the boat as far as what you need as far as fitting into the cabinet. Also new, this is a, uh, a three drawer unit. It's the same concept as what I was showing you before, but it's just a real nice unit. It's got the nice cleanability of the starboard and uh, a real nice stainless look. From there, we have the different head doors that we offer. These head doors can be done um, in a variety of different laminates to coordinate with your laminates on the uh, boat. Of course, we do a wide variety of solid surface materials. Uh, we work in both Corian and LG Hymax materials. 
Um, so that's just a matter of what you may need. We're also able to do different engravings uh, and then backfills in the material. So what we have here is a variety of different tackle centers in this display. As you can see, we have different uh, systems by which to store your leaders. Uh, this is a simple pull-out leader storage system, as well as a different uh, Plano tackle box arrangements. Everything is, of course, uh, custom built to uh, fit the particular boat builder's application and the color of the starboard. We're also doing a lot in the way of friction hinges nowadays. Uh, these are the new uh, gym friction hinges. We have those available so that you basically don't have to have any kind of a gas shock adjustment. So what we have here is the same idea in the stainless uh, drawer fronts, but they're actually curved to fit uh, a particular curvature of the boat. And this is one of the newest technologies that we're really excited about this year. What this is is wireless cell phone charging. Uh, the technology known as Qi has become the standard of wireless charging, and LG HiMax has developed a charging puck that can be mounted underneath the countertop. So when you basically take your phone, place it onto the um, area there, it automatically starts charging. Now we took that countertop idea that one step farther and said where else could we use the, the charging technology and this little puck then can be actually embedded in something like this which is a dash phone charger and as well we're doing a glove box phone charger as well. Of course these are just three ideas of how this could be integrated into the boat um, that's, uh, that's to say we're, we're looking for other ideas and uh, other ways of integrating it. One thing to keep in mind, the cell phone charging uh, is available in a majority or a large number of the uh, phones. Uh, at this point, there is a need on the iPhones to have an additional charging uh, case. So I hope I was able to show you some new things. Um, if you missed the show, I... Uh, I hope this helped. Uh, if you saw the stuff of the show, that's great. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, new parts you'd like to work on, please give us a call.